Hey, what's up everybody? It's Prion Joni. So today I'm going to be showing you a relatively easy combo scratch. A combo scratch is basically just a combination of two scratch techniques. The one I'm going to show you is called the chirp tear. It's basically a combination of two basic scratches, which is the chirp. You close the fader as you move forward and open it when you go back. And the tear scratch, which is just a forward back back on the sample. So when you combine them, you get this. Relatively easy, I would put it somewhere between beginner and intermediate. As long as you have mastered the chirp scratch and the tear scratch, you can totally do this. But before I teach you how to do this, first a word from our sponsor, Direct Music Service. DMS is an online database where DJs can get their music from. There's thousands of unique edits, remixes, and originals that you can choose from of your favorite tracks that you can use to rock your next dance floor. They also have an app that you can use on your mobile device where you can browse their database and then save songs so that it appears on your Dropbox when you get home. I'm gonna leave you two discount links down below in the pinned comment if you want to subscribe. Go to directmusicservice.com today to sign up. All right, so I'm gonna leave a link to the scratch sample that I'm using here, and we're gonna be using the AWS sample. We'll probably scroll through all the other ones as we do this. And for the scratch beat that I'm gonna be doing, I'm actually Bluetooth to the DJM S7 from my iPhone 12, and I'm using the Table Beats app. So first, let's show you how to do this. So we know what our chirp scratch is. You move forward, close the fader, move backward, open the fader. And a tear is a forward back back. So let's break down the anatomy of a tear scratch. It's supposed to be forward back back. When you do a back back, you stop. Forward back back. Forward back back. But because of the rotating platter underneath, you get a couple ghost notes because when you break to do your back backs, it moves forward. So instead of you get now to combine it for this chirp tear combo, you start at the tip of the sample and you start with the first motion of a chirp. You move forward with the record and then close the fader. And then you do a tear coming back as you open the fader. So slowly it goes chirp forward and then back is the tear. So chirp forward. Open fader, back, back. So why this combo? Well, when you do a chirp tear, it cleans up your tear. So instead of where it sounds like it's all over the place, it cleans up that first forward note. And the way to use this is you don't have to be continuous with it all the time. You can be, you could use it like a triplet, but you can use it as a fill when you're doing chirp scratches. All right, so I'm gonna play the beat. Let's do a Q and A. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna scratch for a couple bars and then you can follow along and scratch with me. I'm gonna use the ah sample. So here we go. Okay, faster chirps. We're gonna do chirps just to warm you up in to the combo. Okay, 
Okay, now we're gonna do a couple fillers. Once again. Okay, continuous. Once again. Now we're gonna alternate chirps and chirp tears. Once again. Okay, continuous. One more time. All right, so that is the chirp tear combo. It's just a combination of the chirp with a tear, chirp tear. If you wanna see what I believe is the most important scratch technique, check out this video right here. And if you wanna go through some power drill scratching, follow this video over here. And if you wanna see all my scratch tutorials, including ones where I'm on a jog wheel, on a CDJ or a controller, follow this playlist over here. Really appreciate you for watching. Thanks, take care, stay healthy. The force is with you always.